Hi, I'm Brandon Grayson. I'm a high school math teacher. We're going to find the midpoint of the line segment AB. A is this point here, negative 5, negative 3, and B is the point 4, negative 1. Let's plot those first. 5, negative 5, negative 3 is A. And B is 4, negative 1, just down here. I'm going to connect those. But I'm being careful not to draw a line here. This is only a line segment, so it doesn't continue and extend with arrows in each direction. Uh, to find the midpoint, we just take the average of the x values and the average of the y values, or the mean is the more technical term. So often you'll see a formula like this one. Add up your two x values and divide by two. Add up your two y values. Actually, order doesn't matter, but let's try to be consistent. And divide by 2. So my two x values, let's say that a is the, the first point here. I'm going to have negative 5 plus my x value from my other point is 4. And I'll divide that by 2. y1 is negative 3. y2 is negative 1. So I'm going to write it like this. I could also have written just negative 3 minus 1. Notice that I'm putting uh, brackets all the time. I'm putting my comma between the two halves of my coordinate pair all the time. And I'm putting equal signs here because these are uh, all different representations of the same point. They're all equal. So let's see. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. So that's negative 1 half. Over here I have negative 4 on the top and 2 on the bottom. And that last one I will rewrite as um, negative 2. And so let's plot that on our graph. Negative 1 half is here. Negative 2 going down is right there. And so you can see my graph wouldn't have been perfect if I was trying to just eyeball this. So that's why it's a good idea to do things algebraically. And sometimes we'll label that with a, a point name like C. Let's call that C. And there is the midpoint of the line segment AB. Thanks.